What is up everybody? In today's video, I will be giving you my top five quarterback prospects in the upcoming 2024 NFL Draft. This ranking is solely based on them having the ability to be the focal point of the offense, be a franchise quarterback for the team that drafts them, and have amazing arm talent. So without further ado, let's hop into the video. Coming in at number five, Michael Penix Jr. out of the University of Washington. Regarded as one of the top gunslingers in the 2024 NFL Draft, Penix had a season to remember in 2023 with 4,903 passing yards, 36 touchdowns, and 11 interceptions in which he led Washington to the college football playoff national championship game. Michael Penix has drawn comparisons to Tua as both are left-handed throwers and thrives in pass-heavy schemes. Although he has a strong arm flinging the ball with just a flick of the wrist, he will need to work on consistent timing between the numbers, not force contested throws, and he also tends to make receivers break their strides on certain throws. He does a great job analyzing pressure pre-snap and slides in the pocket from pressure as well as resetting his platform to make a play. He may actually be the only quarterback in the draft that could flick a ball 60 yards down the field without much effort. What's going to make Penix fall down the board is due to multiple season-ending injuries during his time at Indiana. He tore his right ACL twice, played college football since 2018. He will be a 24-year-old rookie. Penix under immense pressure and lack of ability to scream out the pocket in which he could be a bit of a statue. The best NFL fit for Michael Penix Jr. is the Minnesota Vikings, Miami Dolphins, New Orleans Saints, and the Las Vegas Raiders. Coming in at number four, Bo Nix out of the University of Oregon. Bo Nix started his college career back in 2019 playing for the Auburn Tigers before transferring to Oregon in 2022, in which he was a finalist for the Johnny Unitas Golden Arm Award in his first year in the Pac-12. This past season, he ended up being the Pac-12 Conference Offensive Player of the Year, finished third in Heisman voting, and set a NCAA single-season record for completion percentage of 77.4%. The Oregon Ducks had such an explosive offense where he broke a score record of 45 touchdown passes, single-season 4,508 passing yards, and an NCAA record of 61 career starts. Although he has come into the draft with pro-ready accuracy, arm talent, and athleticism, some scouts question if he'll be able to play with that same confidence out of Oregon's explosive scheme in the NFL. Believe it or not, about 30% of his passes this past season were thrown behind the line of scrimmage and has a tendency to overthrow touchdowns to leave points off the board. And he also comes into the NFL as a 24-year-old rookie. But overall, he is actually one of the most pro-ready prospects and bound to be a franchise quarterback for an NFL team for the next 10 years. The best fit for Bo Nix is the Denver Broncos, Minnesota Vikings, New York Giants, and the Las Vegas Raiders. Number three, Drake May out of UNC. Coming into the 2023 college football season, Drake May and Caleb Williams were looked at as 1A, 1B as potential number one pick of the 2024 NFL Draft. After being a backup to Sam Howell, he was finally handed the keys to take over the UNC football program in which he won the ACC Player of the Year, Offensive Player of the Year, Rookie of the Year and Offensive Rookie of the Year in 2022, in which he joins Jameis Winston as the only college quarterbacks to win all four awards in the same season. This past season, he threw for 3,608 passing yards, 24 touchdowns, 9 interceptions, and 9 rushing touchdowns. Drake May has a gunslinger mentality that could potentially lead to interceptions, but he's able to make tight window throws that will excite NFL fans. He has a very Josh Allen, Kirk Cousins-esque style. He didn't play his best Paul in 2023 as there were some inconsistencies in his game, whether that was missing easy throws, drifting away from the pocket as he's dropping back, and questionable throws that led to interceptions, in which he had 16 career interceptions due to poor decisions and throws. Overall, due to his high upside playmaking ability to make tight window throws, fearless passer, flashes of being clutch to take over the game, and mobility to scream out the pocket, he is undoubtedly a top three quarterback in the NFL draft. The best NFL fit for Drake May are the Washington Commanders, New England Patriots, Minnesota Vikings, 
Denver Broncos, and the New York Giants. Number two, Jaden Daniels out of LSU. After starting his college career at Arizona State University for his first three seasons, Jaden Daniels transferred to LSU in 2022 and rose to stardom in 2023, winning the Heisman Trophy, putting up Joe Burrow-like numbers. This past season, he threw for 40 touchdown passes, four interceptions, seventh in the nation with a completion percentage of 72.2% and led all quarterbacks with a school quarterback record of 1,100 plus rushing yards and 10 rushing touchdowns. Jaden Daniels is the only player in FBS history to throw for 12,000 plus passing yards and 3,000 plus rushing yards in their college career. He's drawing comparisons to Robert Griffin III due to their dual threat ability, slender frame, and playmaking ability to wow NFL fans. There are questions about his below average placement on deep throws, lack of zip in his passes, slender frame that could lead to injury, and the ability to translate 2023 season success in the NFL. Nobody has Roser stocked this past season than Jaden Daniels after winning the Heisman Award, and he's more than capable to not only be the face of a franchise, but stress defenses due to his elite dual threat ability to scramble out the pocket and football intelligence with quality decision making. The best NFL fit for Jaden Daniels are the Washington Commanders, New England Patriots, Minnesota Vikings, Las Vegas Raiders, and New York Giants. And number one, Caleb Williams out of USC. Caleb Williams has been the consensus number one overall pick since the beginning of the 2023 college football season and hasn't done anything to change anyone's opinion about that. Caleb started his career at Oklahoma in 2021 and followed coach Lincoln Riley to USC for the last two seasons. In three seasons, he's thrown for 93 passing touchdowns and 14 interceptions, and he also ranked top 10 in nearly every single passing category along with leading his team with 11 rushing touchdowns in 2023. Due to his playmaking ability to make throws outside the pocket, dual threat ability, high impact player on the go and in the pocket, he's currently drawing comparisons to Kyler Murray. Although he has tremendous talent, he tends to play off schedule, which could lead to poor decisions and throws, and when facing top-tier college defenses, Caleb can become non-existent in the game. More times than not, he thrives off feasting against subpar defenses, but I guess that's Pac-12 conference for you. Overall, he's been the best college quarterback the past two seasons with an elite. 46 to 1 touchdown to interception ratio since the start of 2022, and possesses rare talent to extend plays provide high-end production to keep their team in the game and make throws to beat safety to their spots. The best NFL fit for Caleb Williams are the Chicago Bears and the Washington Commanders. Thank you so much for watching my video. These are my top five quarterbacks in the upcoming 2024 NFL Draft. Please like and subscribe to the channel for more weekly content. See you next week.